Uh, hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm just waiting for everyone to. I'm just waiting for everyone. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. No, no, it won't echo. My voice won't echo now. Uh, uh <clears throat> to all the ims students who have joined using uh, live portal i have set i have sent a message in the chat box the youtube link please leave the meeting from here and join the youtube link the youtube live so it would be very difficult for me to you know keep a track of what you are saying here on zoom as well as on youtube that is i'm asking everyone to you know shift to youtube only so all all of them are still there on zoom please use the link which i have provided in the chat box leave your live ims portal end the meeting from there and you can just directly go to the youtube live see this is this will definitely be useful for 2021 students because there are certain exams that are left like marsh law ct is still left and we don't know as to when will it happen so you know it might still come in handy uh i agree this might not be as useful uh, for clat 2021 purposes or maybe even for a lit 21 purpose but uh, yeah it would still come in handy for you know maharashtra law ct or maybe other entrances yes this class will of course be important for uh, you know Uh, IP University as well as DU JAT entrances. Uh, so we still have some eighty around students uh, here on the Zoom platform, just waiting for them to you know just migrate there and thereafter you know we'll start. Okay, my voice is not clear. Uh, is 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 that is that the case uh, am i not audible properly if that's the case i'll use some headset okay voice is fine it's clear theek hai theek hai to all the students all the ims students who are still there on the zoom platform uh and who have used live.imsindia.com to join to the class please use the link that i have provided in the chat box and go to youtube live rather than staying here and please do this quickly so that we can start the class immediately uh there are few students who are raising hands what is the wait i'm sharing the link again now i hope all of you can see the link Yes, please stop asking the same question. Whether this is for twenty twenty two or not, whether this is for twenty twenty one or not, 
See, current affairs is something which will be relevant for all the entrance examinations. And, you know, we can't really predict whether this will come, with, which, this will definitely come in 22 or not, whether this will definitely come in 21 or not. So, that's not actually a very valid question. Uh, all the people who are still here, uh, please quickly join using the YouTube link. I've again sent it on the uh, you know, chat box. Leave the IMS portal, end the meeting from here and use the YouTube link, link to you know, go and attend it there. It, it will be difficult for me to you know, manage uh, Zoom as well as YouTube live. We will start the session, Vasu. Wait, uh, just wait for two more minutes for people to, you know, go in. And thereafter, we'll start. Okay. All right, so I think I will be starting off with the session now. And uh, okay, uh, let me just quickly share my screen with all of you. Uh, All right, so in today's session, we are going to have a look at all the important events that happened uh, between, you know, 11th July to 17th of July. Guys, please don't spam the chat box unnecessarily the idea is to learn something and not to you know create a nuisance in the chat box uh, there's, there's no point all right so like always uh, how we go ahead with you know our sessions we'll be looking at certain events and we'll try to answer you know related questions with respect to that events all right so good evening everyone my name is web of prakash and i welcome you all uh, today for your weekly current affairs catch up session that we have uh, uh, that that IMS conducts for you every Sunday 6 45 p.m right uh, all right so here comes the first question uh, right and or rather not the question but the first event so this is talking about uh, tennis victory Wimbledon all right so we see that they are talking about the Wimbledons Okay, now Wimbledon's May, they're asking us one question. So this is one fill in the blanks. I see another second fill in the blanks. All right. So again, the idea is, so how would you approach this particular question or this particular event? You should not be reading everything that you see here. All right. You should not, you should not be reading all of this. Now we already know that, okay, Wimbledon was something which got concluded. Uh, so if you have been reading newspapers, you know about this event, right? Now, whether we know these two questions or not is okay, because we don't have options for question number one and question, like fill in the blanks in one and two. We don't have an option. So if we know the correct answers directly, that is fine. Great. If we don't know and we, re we generally rely upon, uh, you know, uh, we, we generally rely upon uh, uh, options, 
then that is also fine because if in case this passage comes up in your entrance examination, you will have the option of uh, looking at the options and marking your answers, right? Okay, so question number or rather the fill in the blanks one is what answer? In a historic 6, 7, 4th set, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6, 3, final victory over 7th seeded Italian dash at the championships, Wimbledon, Novak Djokovic, world number one, drew level with his great rival Switzerland's Roger Federer and Spain's Rafael Nadal, whom he has chased ever since capturing his first major crown at 2008 Australian Olympics. So the first answer is yes, Matteo Berrettini. That's the correct answer. I see in the chat box, a lot of you have answered it correctly. Very good. Now we come to the second part. Djokovic became the fourth man in the open era since April 1968 to win three consecutive Wimbledon titles behind Federer, Bijan Borg and Dash. With this historic victory lasting three hours and 23 minutes, it also strengthens the uh, Serbian superstars bid for a seventh year and number one finish in the FedEx ATP rankings in 2021. So what is question number or what is fill in the blanks number two? And the correct answer no is not Rafael Nadal is Pete Sampras. The correct answer is Pete Sampras. All right. Now we go to the third question. Dash is the only major tournament which is still played on traditional tennis playing surface, that's grass. If the screen seems to be blurred to you, please apply a little common sense and increase the video quality for your phone or the device that you're viewing on. Stop putting the same thing in the chat box. Increase the quality of the video and you'll be able to see it very clearly. All, all right. So the correct answer to this question is Wimbledon's. Wimbledon is the only major tournament, Grand Slam tournament, which is still played on traditional uh, grass court. Rest all, all these, all the other major Grand Slams are are either played on Mac or uh, French Open is played on clay court. All right, coming to the fourth question. Dash is the only tennis player ever who has won four Grand Slams and an Olympic gold in the same season. So I see a lot of you answering correct. Uh, yes, the correct answer is Steffi Graf. Uh, yes, Steffi Graf is the only tennis player who has won four Grand Slams uh, as well as four Grand Slams as well as an Olympic gold in the same year, in the same season. So Steffi Graf is the correct answer. Very good. All right. There's a very funny video about Steffi Graf on uh, you know YouTube. You can find that she was playing, and somebody from the crowd asks her to marry, uh, ask her, uh, asks her to marry him. So it was a very funny video. Uh, if you ever get the time to watch it, do watch it. All right. Next question: Who has won the most Wimbledon men's singles title? Most number of Wimbledon's men's singles title. I'm I'm good. Thank you so much. And the correct answer is Roger Federer. 
So Roger Federer is the correct answer who has won the most number of Wimbledon men's singles title. Okay, so this was the one event which was one very major event uh, regarding Wimbledon's, the Grand Slam uh, of the year. Now we come to the second event. Okay, so this is talking about 11th July swashbuckling entrepreneur Richard Branson, Richard Branson, Sir Richard Branson flew into space. Okay, so we know defeating fellow billionaire Jeff Bezos, Virgin Galactic Space Tourism Company. All right. Okay, so one is aeronautical engineer. His name. And uh, then they also have asked where's two? Okay. Two is Bezos Space. Okay. So what is the name of Jeff Bezos's space company? And one is who is the Indian origin astronautical engineer, uh, sorry, aeronautical engineer uh, who went onto this trip with Sir Richard Branson along with, of course, the team. So yes, majority of you have answered it correctly. Uh, for one, it is uh, Sirisha Bandla. And uh, the second is Blue Origin. The name of Jeff Bezos' uh, space company is called as Blue Origin. Very good. All right. Now we come to the third question for this passage. Wing Commander Dash is the only Indian who has traveled to space. Okay, so the correct answer, yes, is Rakesh Sharma. Absolutely correct. Majority of you have answered it correctly. Moving on to the next question. Who is the current administrator of NASA? Okay, Ananya says he's my cousin. That's very nice, Ananya. Say hello to him from my end as well. All right, so yes, the correct answer is Mr. Bill Nelson. That's absolutely correct. And all of you have gotten it correct. Very good. The next question is, which of the following statements about Richard Branson are true? One, he was knighted in March 2000 at Buckingham Palace for providing services to entrepreneurship and for his work in retail music and transport and space travel. Second, Richard Branson's first business venture was a magazine that he named Student. So I think statement one is correct because I already told you that Richard Branson, uh, I, I actually referred to him as Sir Richard Branson. So therefore he was definitely knighted. Uh, so one most probably is correct. And the correct answer is that both statements one and true, uh, one and two are true. Uh, all right, then, okay. So with this, we come to end of the second event as well. Moving on to the third one. 
RBI has barred a global card player, Mastercard Asia Pacific, from onboarding new domestic customers on its network from July 22nd over non-compliance with local data storage guidelines. After Dash, Mastercard is estimated to be the second largest card network in India. USA? Yes, the correct answer to uh, first fill in the blank is Visa. Visa is the biggest, uh, you know, player with respect to uh, plastic cards. And second, you have MasterCard. And then you have, uh, then we come to the second one where they say MasterCard is third card network to be barred by RBI uh, in 2021 after American Express and Dash was similarly prohibited from onboarding new customers in April. This even I'm not very sure of. And the correct answer is Diners Club International, Diners Club. Not Razor Pay, Diners Club. <laughs> All right. Uh, who is the current CEO of MasterCard? Uh, I think I think I know this. And the correct answer is. Uh, Michelle Maybach. Uh, So yes, Ajay, so that is exactly what I was also thinking. Uh, I, so for this question, even I went wrong. Uh, I also thought Ajay Bangla is the current CEO of MasterCard, but apparently early 2021, uh, he stepped down uh, from the post of CEO and Michael Maybach has replaced him as the CEO of MasterCard now. Very few people got it correct. Uh, who is currently serving as the governor of the Reserve Bank of India? I think this is a favorite question. <laughs> yes, the correct answer. The correct answer is Shakti Kanta Das. All right, moving on to the next one. These are the following statements about Richard Branson. No, 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 no. So I think there's a mistake here. Wait. Which of the following statements about RBI are true? Huh? 
No, I've, I've corrected the question. All right, so the correct answer is both. Both of them are true. One, RBI's affairs are governed by a central board, which is uh, appointed by the government of India. And second, these directors are appointed or nominated for a period of four years uh, from the date of their appointment. So both of these statements are correct about RBI. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Fair enough. So they're talking about Serum Institute of India. I'm sure it must be with respect to some vaccine. Uh, it will begin production of dash COVID-19 in September with an annual production capacity of 300 million doses. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I know, I know. I, I've read this. This will be the fourth vaccine in SII's portfolio following Covishield developed by dash. Covovax developed by Novavax and Koda Jackson, uh, whose trials are currently underway in the UK. Mm, so, so you have one and two. Okay, take okay, it. Fair enough. So, the correct answer is Sputnik V. They would begin production of Sputnik V in September. Uh, and they would be producing some around 300 million doses. Putin, Putin is being manufactured, which be. Okay, so what is what is second? Covid Shield is developed by Dash. And the correct answer is AstraZeneca Oxford. Yes. AstraZeneca bhi likha to sahi hai. AstraZeneca Oxford is the correct answer for fill in the blanks too. Uh, then you come to the third question. Who is the CEO of RDIF, Russian Direct Investment Fund? Because RDIF is the one who actually sponsored uh, uh, the manufacturing of uh, Sputnik Five. So who is the direct? Who's the CEO of RDIF? And the correct answer is Kirill Dimitriev. The correct answer is Kirill Dimitriev. All right, moving on to the next question. Who is the current chairman of Magma FinCorp? Who is the current chairman of Magma FinCorp? No, Dev, NPAT does not have current affairs. Please stop asking the same question over and over again in the chat box. You can ask these questions on your you know, respective Telegram groups as well. And the correct answer is Adar Punawala. Okay. I was not sure, but it was a hunch. Which of the following are functions of Central Drugs Standard Control Organization? 
CDS को regulatory control over the import of drugs, approval of new drugs and clinical trials, approval of certain licenses as central license approving authority. License approving also is done by CDS Co. I'm not sure, but majority of you say C, and C is correct. C is absolutely correct. So both one, it regulates the control of the drugs, import of drugs, and approval of new drugs as well as clinical trials, and it also provides or uh, provides approval to uh, pro provides approval for licenses as uh, the central authority. Okay, fair enough. Now I think we come to the next uh, set of events. Hi, Ishwari. How is Nalsar Hyderabad going for you? Ishwari is our last year student who has joined this session. And Ishwari is studying at Nalsar Hyderabad second year. Okay, so. All right, so this is the event uh, dealing with the IPOs, okay? Uh, the Dash, Dash, the parent company of country's largest digital payments firm, Paytm, has filed for offer documents with SEBI with respect to the IPO. And they're collecting around their 16,600 16, crores is what they expect to collect from the IPO. So what is the correct answer for one? Yes, 197 communication is correct. 197 communication is the parent company uh, for Paytm. And second is, Uh, Paytm's IPO filing follows the success of Dash India's first unicorn IPO, which is Zomato. Correct. Absolutely correct. Zomato was a big success. Uh, okay. Who is the founder of Paytm? That's an interesting question. Who is the founder of Paytm? And the correct answer is Vijay Shekhar Sharma. B. Vijay Shekhar Sharma is correct. No, Ritesh Agarwal is uh, Oyo's founder. All right. Uh, who is the current chairman of SEBI, Securities and Exchange Board of India, K current chairman ka naam batao. All right, the correct answer is Ajay Tyagi. Yes, majority of you have answered it correctly. Very good. Which of the following statements are true? Next question.
Lakshay, if you are not interested in attending the class, you can please leave it. All right, the correct answer is that only statement one is correct. And the draft red herring prospectus uh, does not contain details of price, number of shares, and the amount of issue. Okay, this is something I think which we should all, you know, read. Frankly speaking, when I did not read this in detail. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Now we come to the standalone questions. Let's do this quickly in the next five minutes. Who is the current union education minister of India? After the recent shuffle, who is the current union education minister? All right, the correct answer is option C, Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan. Uh, he is the current Union Education Minister of India. He, along with Tribal Affairs Minister, Mr. Arjun Munda, launched School Innovation Ambassador Training Program on 16th July. Next question, which organization recently took over the management control of Mumbai International Airport? Hello, Adib. Yes. Uh, yes, the correct answer is Adani Airport Holdings. Absolutely correct. And they took this control from GVK Group. Next question is who has been selected as the new leader of house in the Rajya Sabha? Yes, yes, Ishwari, please feel free. Majority of your answers are absolutely correct. Piyush Goyal is the correct answer. He has been selected as the new leader of the house of the Rajya Sabha. He was the ex-railways minister and he will replace Thawarchand Gehlot, uh, who was the leader of the house in Rajya Sabha prior to him. Okay. An MOU, a cooperation in areas of health and medicine, has been approved by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi between Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and the Ministry of Health of which country? So India has signed a MOU on cooperation in the areas of health and medicine. And the correct answer is Denmark. The correct answer is Denmark.
All right. Next question. Dash recently became the first Gulf nation to open an embassy in Israel at Tel Aviv. And the correct answer is the UAE. The United Arab Emirates is the correct answer. Which of the following companies developed the new Shepherd launch system? Shepherd launch system, which recently got the Federal Aviation Administration's approval to carry humans into space. All right, the correct answer is option D, blue origin. So FAA, uh, FAA approved blue origin license to carry humans, in, uh, humans to space and former Amazon chief, Mr. Jeff Bezos uh, is the founder of this company uh, and uh, it is set to fly to the edge of the space uh, uh, on which is, and is scheduled on July 20th. The domestic violence prevention and protection bill 2021 which was in the news recently was passed by which of the following countries? All the people who are spamming the uh, chat box, just don't give attention to them. To be very honest, it's just a very cheap tactic of getting attention, which is very sad and pathetic, but just don't just, just ignore it. Radhika, I'll come to your query at the end. I'm in the middle of session, so please hold on to your query. You can ask it towards there. So domestic violence prevention and protection bill 2021, which was a news was passed by which of the following countries? The correct answer is option A, Pakistan. All right. Uh, so with, with this act, you know, they are going to protect the vulnerable uh, section of the society, which includes uh, uh, women, children, and the, uh, and the elderly. Uh, India is sending how many athletes to compete in the Tokyo Olympics 2020? That's the next question. Yes, the correct answer is option A, 119. The overall contingent is 228 uh, members, uh, out of which 119 are athletes. All right. Who amongst the following is currently serving as Minister of Tourism, Culture and Development of Northeastern Region of India?
And yes, the correct answer is option B. Uh, G. Kishan Reddy. Uh, okay, who has recently been appointed as the Prime Minister of Nepal? This I think should be easy. And the correct answer is option C, Sher Bahadur Dioba. All right, very good. Next question, which of the following became the first UT to achieve 100% first dose coverage of COVID-19 vaccination? And the correct answer, yes, is Ladakh. Majority of you have answered it correctly. All right, next question. Uh, Indian Navy recently received 10th Anti-Submarine Warfare and Aircraft P-8I from which US based aerospace company? And the correct answer is option A Boeing. All right, moving on to the next question. Which tennis player won the women's singles title at Wimbledon? This is again easy. And the correct answer is option B, Ashley Barty. She also is women's, uh, like women number one as of this moment. And she won the Wimbledon's uh, women's singles title. Uh, next question is uh, Union Cabinet chaired by Prime Minister approved a MOU between India and Dash on cooperation in coking coal. And the correct answer is option B, Russia. Coking coal is used to uh, making steel. Okay, which team won the Copa America football tournament 2021? And yes, Argentina is the correct answer. In 2020, UEFA European Football Championship, which Italy won, 
who was awarded as the best player of the tournament? Yes, the correct answer is the Italian goalkeeper number one, uh, Gianluigi Donnarumma, who also joined PSG Football Club for a uh, on a five year uh, for for a period of five years. So, Italian goalkeeper Gianluigi uh, Luigi uh, Donnarumma is the correct answer. He won the best player of the tournament. He is the Italian goalkeeper. The United Nations has recognized to celebrate July 12 in the honor of which of the following Nobel Prize winners? This is very... Uh, this is a very simple question. And yes, the correct answer is Malala Yousafzai. So it is Malala's uh, birthday, which is recognized or which has been declared by the United Nations as World Malala Day in, honor, uh, in order to you know, uh, commemorate or celebrate the education, young education activist from Pakistan. And with this, we come to end of all the important events that we wanted to cover. Now, one very important question that people have been asking is, uh, uh, how do you study? Uh, you have been reading newspapers. So continue reading newspapers. Uh, it is very important. Uh, and, you know, keep attending these classes every Sunday so that you get to know what are the important things that, you know, you should be, uh, you know, you should be asked what, what you should be reading. Uh, important thing would also be to, you know, keep testing yourself on a regular basis. Uh, once you, you know, test yourself, once you test yourself on a regular basis, you'll get to understand what you're supposed to be reading. Uh, you can test it on your MyIMS portal through Knowledge Gym every 15 days. Uh, weekly snippets you should be reading. You have 20 set of MCQ, MCQ questions there. And if you wish, you can go to some other uh, online resources which are freely available uh, over the internet and you can, you know, take their uh, tests as well. All right. Uh, thank you so very much for joining in for the session. Narita, which club do you support? Manchester United. I bleed red. Are, thank you so much, Gautam. Appreciate your warm comments. After CLAT exam, also should we attend? If you are able to attend, of course, why not? So, Ishwari also wishes best of luck to all of you. Uh, Few of you might actually go to Nalsar Hyderabad and you know, you know a senior from IMS there. No, not all the sessions will happen on YouTube Live. Uh, no. Whenever it happens, uh, we will inform you accordingly. All right. Thank you so very much. I don't, I, I, I don't think anyone has any questions left. I've answered all the queries. Uh, thank you so very much. Uh, stay safe. Take care. This is Vebif Prakash signing off from here. Uh, till we meet again. Uh, goodbye.